Shots ringing out in a popular neighborhood of St. Paul this weekend and one bullet even going through the window of a nearby home. Fox 9's Rob Olson is live for us in St. Paul tonight. So Rob, this has some of those neighbors in that area concerned. Yeah, this is Summit Avenue. Grand Avenue is right down that way. And uh, neighbors here are very rattled by this gunfire late on Friday night, multiple shots ringing out. And while they don't know exactly the connections here, they were scared to talk about this on camera. This goes or this happens right as a bar not far away is undergoing a, a fight to get a new liquor license amid concerns in the neighborhood about rising safety issues. Again, unknown if there's any connection here, but with the timing of this, it raises for this neighborhood a lot of questions. It was just before 1130 Friday night when police were called to the corner of Summit and Avon in St. Paul for multiple shots fired. One neighbor had a bullet go through a second floor bedroom window and St. Paul police found 25 shell casings in the intersection. Whoever fired the shots was gone and nobody was hurt, but the people who live here say their nerves are frayed and they didn't want to speak about this on camera out of caution. Over the past year, neighbors have raised concerns about Billy's on Grand, about a block away. While there is nothing that links this incident, it does raise more questions here. We reported last summer about rising police calls to the bar, which has been fined twice by the city for violations and is currently facing possible revocation of its liquor license. Call the meeting of the St. Paul City Council to order. If the revocation does occur, no full on-sale liquor license can occur at that property for 15 years. Last week, the St. Paul City Council told the city's Department of Safety and Inspections to begin reviewing an application for a new liquor license, which will now bring with it public hearings. We are giving an opportunity to an applicant to prove that they can have a license and giving the department the opportunity to hear those public comments and put conditions on that license, which frankly, um, we have been in this limbo period in processing these adverse actions for over a year. Yeah, the limbo period because the current management's operating with the previous liquor license from somebody that they're trying to buy the bar from applying for a new liquor license to go with their new ownership should that transfer occur, should the new license be approved. But again, this is now going through a uh, inspections process and a public hearing process. And of course, around here with this latest incident on Friday night, again, no evidence at this point there's any connection. But again, it raises a lot more questions here and concerns. And certainly there'll be a lot of opinions shared as this process moves forward. Live in St. Paul, Robles, Fox 9.